Hello. Welcome to Digital Story Time. Today we will be reading interesting stories with grade 3 learners and can be enjoyed by everyone. Each story has a title, a body, questions, and a glossary. Glossary supports you to learn new words and signs. Welcome. The train trip. Story Summary Adama, Matu and their mother are going on a trip to Mombasa. They go by train. On the way, they see many animals and they are very happy. Adama and Matu are happy. They are going to Mombasa by train. They sing, Chuku Chuku train, Chuku Chuku train. The girls go to the railway station. Mother is with them. Wow, the train is here. It looks like a long snake, Matu says. Adama and Matu run to get seats. Matu sits near a window. Adama sits next to her. Mother sits with Adama and Matu. The train starts moving. Chuku, chuku, chuku. Chuku, the train goes. The train stops after four hours. It is time to eat. Mother, Adama and Matu eat rice and meat. Which town is this mother? Adama asks. We are in Voy Town, Mother says. Everybody gets back into the train. Mother and the girls go back to their seats. Woo! The train makes a loud sound. Oh, look at the elephants, Adama says. They are very big, Matu says. This is Savo National Park, Mother tells them. The girls are happy to see the elephants. They see giraffes eating leaves from the top of trees. Their necks are very long, Matu shouts. Mother looks at the animals too. Look, girls, mother says as she points to the ocean. The train stops in Mombasa. The girls see their aunt and cousin at the railway station. The children are happy to be in Mombasa. We have finished reading the first book. Next are questions and glossary. Ready? Questions. Number one. Where are Mother Adama and Matu going? Number two. 
Number two, who sits near a window? Number three, in which town does the train stop? Number four, what do Mother Adama and Matu eat? Number five, why do you think Mombasa is far from Adama and Matu's home? Glossary. Train. T. R. A. I. N. Seat. S. E. A T Voy V O I Elephant E L E P H A N T Giraffe G I R A F F E Ocean O C E A N Train Station T R A I N S T A T I O N I hope you enjoyed reading this book and learned some new words and signs. Let's now read the second book. The Best Day Story Summary There are two hills with many homes on them. A big river flows in the valley between the hills. Children from both hills play together in the valley. There was once a village called Badu. It was on the hills of Riwa and Wera. The two hills faced each other. Between them was a wide valley.
the valley was also called Bado. Crops grew well in the valley. Animals got grass from the valley too. There was a big river in the valley. It was called River Pala. River Pala had clean water the whole year. The people in Bado used the water from River Pala in their homes. Farmers of Bado also used the water in their farms. Birds and animals also drank the water. Each of the hills had a school. Rewa Primary School was on Rewa Hill. Wera Primary School was on Wera Hill. Children from Rewa Hill went to Rewa Primary School. Those from Wera Hill went to Wera Primary School. The children played together in the valley. Sometimes, the schools played against each other. On Saturdays, children took animals to the valley. All the animals grazed together. They all drank water from River Pala. The children looked after the animals together. They were friendly to one another. The animals rested after grazing. When the animals rested, the children played. The children formed play groups. They played different games. They sang and danced. They played throw and catch. They aimed at things and raced. Some of them played bullfighting games. Finally, they swam in River Pala. The children enjoyed playing together. As they played, the children took turns to check on the animals. A bird called Hoya told them the time to go home. It always sang in the evening. The children knew the song. It said, the hyena will eat. Take the animals home. Quickly, the children would take the animals home. The children walk behind the animals. They took two roads, one to Rewa Hill and another to Wera Hill.
The animals walked home in a line. The children played music with their sticks. They hid the short sticks on the long ones. The children also danced on their way home. One by one, the children reached their homes. Those from near the valley were the first to get home. Those from far up the hills got home last. At times, the grass on the hills dried. One day, boys from Rewa and Wera primary schools met. The boys met in Bado Valley. They had gone to cut grass. Each school kept two dairy cows. The cows had no grass to eat on the hills. The Rewa team was led by Tito. The Wera team was led by Babu. All the pupils were in class too. Tito and Babu knew each other. They were friends. The children cut a lot of grass. They felt tired and sat down to rest. The boys sat under a tree and talked. One of them asked, What day is it today? Another answered, Today is Monday. Some talked about the best day of the week. Others talked about the days they did not like. Then Tito said, Let's name the first three school days of the week. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. All the boys said. Then Babu asked, Which are the last four days of the week? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The other pupils replied. Tito and Babu thanked their teams. The game went on. Points were given for correct answers. Which day of the week don't you like? A pupil from Rewa asked. Monday. A pupil from Wera answered. We take animals to the valley on Saturday. We play a lot on Sunday. We get to sleep very tired on Sunday. Then, on Monday, we must go to school. But we are still tired, another pupil from Wera added. Then he sat down. It was Wera's turn to ask a question. Which day of the week do you like most? A Wera pupil asked. A pupil from Rewa answered, Saturday and Sunday. 
On both days, we take animals to the valley. We graze the animals there. We meet and play. We play many games. The river pupils went on. Many pupils agreed with him. The boy went on and said, We sing and dance. We throw and catch. We aim at things and race. We swim in the river parlor. We learn many things in the valley. We also get fresh air. Tito and Babu walked away from the others. They talked to each other. Then they joined other boys. A pupil from Riwa said, I like Wednesday. It is in the middle of the week. A pupil from Wera said, I like Thursday a little. It is close to Saturday and Sunday. Nobody talked about Friday. Then a pupil from Riwa stood up. He said that Friday was the last day of school. The boys felt happy. They carried grass back to their schools. After reading a book, questions test our comprehension. Are you ready? Let's go. Questions. Number one. What was the name of the village? Number two. What was the name of the river? Number three. Which days... Did the pupils like most? Number four. Why do you think the pupil from Wera did not like Monday? Number five. Which day do you like most? Why? Glossary Village V I L L A G E Hills H I L L S Valley V A L L E Y River R I V E R Animals A N I M A L S
buds b i r d s grazing g r a z i n g games g a m e s monday m o n d a y tuesday t u e s d a y wednesday w e d n e s d a y thursday t h u r s d a y friday f r i d a y saturday s a t u r d a y sunday s u n d a y We are done for today. See you next time. Happy reading. Bye. Test yourself in answering the questions in every storybook and get instant results. Visit ikitabu.com forward slash TV and try it today.